Hi, hello and welcome to today's discussion about, how to identify, Scopus indexed journals. We are sure that this discussion is, such an important one, for many researchers. Before starting our discussion, we request the viewers, to please subscribe our channel, so that you can get all the videos, related to research. Also click the bell icon for the notifications. Let's go. Scopus is the world's largest, indexing and abstracting database, launched in the year 2004. It is the huge collection of, peer-reviewed journals, containing more than 70 million articles, representing scientific themes, conference proceedings, lecture notes and book chapters. Researchers feel proud, if they publish their paper, in Scopus indexed journals. Many Scopus indexed journals contains impact factor, a parameter, that represents the quality of the journal. The higher the impact factor is, the higher the quality of journal. However, there are few journals, claiming that they are Scopus indexed, but in reality, they are not. Either they are, totally not indexed in Scopus, or their coverage in Scopus, might have discontinued, after covering a specific period. In any of these cases, researcher is the real sufferer. If a researcher publishes the paper, in a journal with the belief that, it is Scopus indexed, and in reality, it is not, then whole effort of the researcher is wasted. Researcher is not going to get any recognition, because of failing to publish in Scopus journals. Now the biggest question is, how to identify, or, cross-check, the Scopus indexed journals. Here is the procedure, to identify the same. We request the viewers, to watch full video, as we are going to discuss, real-time examples. First, type the below URL. This link is given in description box. You can click. It will take you to the following page. You can search for a journal using, subject area, title, publisher, ISSN number, etc. Now select title option and type journal name clearly. If there are no results, for the search, then confirm that, the journal is not indexed in Scopus. If the journal is available, then it will display the same, in results area. For example, we are searching a journal called, Journal of Computational Theory, and Applications. Since it is not Scopus indexed, no results were found. Next, we are going to search, Journal of Engineering and Applied Sciences. And the following result is displayed. Just mere display, will not confirm that, it is Scopus indexed. To know the additional details, let us click the journal, in the results section. You can see that, this journal was Scopus indexed, but not now. Its coverage years are from, 2008 to 2019, and after that, it has been removed, from the Scopus list. It is having a message, coverage discontinued in Scopus. Hence, care must be taken, in selecting a proper journal. It also contains, additional details such as, publisher of the journal, ISSN number, and ESSN number. Next, we are going to search, Journal of Computer Science. This page is the result for the search. You can see that, this journal is Scopus indexed. Additionally it provides, publisher name, ISSN number, Scopus coverage years and, subject. It also contains, details such as, site score of the journal, SJR value, as well as, SNIP value. Like this way, we can identify the correct Scopus journal. Another important point, to be discussed here is, in spite of this search, few people are cheating the researchers. How? They give their journal, the same name of original Scopus journal, with a small, unnoticeable change. Or, sometimes even the same name. Researcher feel that, journal is Scopus indexed, but it is not. For this, check the publisher name, and importantly ISSN number and, ESSN number, if available. 
If everything matches, you can go ahead. With this, we come to the end of our discussion. Hope this information is useful for you. Please subscribe, like and share the video, so that it can be useful to others also. You can drop your views as comments. Thank you. Bye.